Good afternoon, Bob Dalton, coming to you from Allendale's trading floor here in McHenry, Illinois. It is Monday, March 28, 2011. Uh, markets overnight finished just hanging on to the positive side in the grains. Uh, we saw the uh, the dollar stronger. We saw crude oil pulling back a little bit about 7:30 this morning. Grains opened up pretty much in line with where they finished overnight, and by the time the day was over, we were significantly lower from where we started the day. Um, we can't forget right now that this is the last day of or the last week of a month. Not only is it the last week of a month, it's the last week of a quarter. Right. Typically, you will see profit come out specifically from the funds uh, going into the end of a month. Uh, we also know that they have new money to play with at the beginning of a month, let alone the beginning of the second quarter of the year. There are going to be additional funds available for them to trade as well. Uh, so don't be surprised if you see uh, the grain markets, especially this week, uh, trade erratically to somewhat lower. Uh, we have a report coming out on Thursday morning, a couple of numbers we're going to see. We've got quarterly grain stocks, we got prospective planning numbers, export numbers will be coming out that uh, that morning as well. And uh, these are very important uh, reports, so, you know, market moving type of numbers that we can see out of the USDA, uh, whether if you uh, agree with them or not, they're going to move the markets. So. Um, Get yourself protected if you're not already. Uh, we had guys calling in today saying, hey, um, you know, I'm profitable at these levels. I'm comfortable letting the market pull back. If it needs to pull back a little bit, I'm still above break evens. That makes no sense, right? You have profit in here right now. Why give uh, the profit back to the market and, and settle a little bit better than, than you could have had when you can take a portion of that profit right now and guarantee yourself uh, uh, better profit margins versus what we would see if the market pulled on back significantly. So call in. We'd be more than happy to go over straight strategies and, and talk to you ahead of this report about getting downside protected on grain. All right, uh, I'll leave that alone uh, for the rest of the discussion here. Uh, as far as price settlement here today, uh, we did have corn down 18 and a half in the May contract at 671. Technical damage to the charts today to the downside. Uh, soybeans down nine and three quarters, 1348 and a half. Right, and then wheat down eight, seven twenty-five and a quarter. Right now, you got crude oil down a dollar forty. That wasn't helping the grains cause today either. Uh, but the dollar, however, down about ten points right now as well. So, not too much direction from the outside markets. Uh, although crude oil pulling back is never a good thing for uh, the grains, unless of course the funds are pulling money out of crude and going into grains. Uh, we did see natural gas strong today. Uh, so that energy market is doing well. Uh, are the funds uh, uh, finally getting out of short positions there, and that's sparking the market to go higher? And, or are they, in fact, going to reverse the positions and go long in the nat gas now? We'll have to wait for the commitment of traders reports to find out what it is exactly that they're doing. But we do know that money does shift from grains to energies, and it's been doing it on a, a fairly regular basis. So keep an eye on, on what's uh, happening in one. Look for direction in the other off of uh, the queue you're catching from either the grains or the energies. And make smart marketing decisions based off of those market moves. Over into livestock today, cattle rallied pretty good uh, late last week. Pulled them back just a hair today. You got April fat cattle down 65 cents, 117.95. Uh, offerings this morning 119 to 120, and we did hear that uh, um, the uh, Texas show list this week is about 10,000 head lighter than it was last week. So that might actually support. Uh, some prices here uh, cash trade this week uh, and that might have been some of the reason why your offerings here on a Monday morning were 119 to 120 uh, no cash trade uh, did develop here today that that I heard of and um, we'll uh, see what happens here tomorrow morning we are uh, telling individuals to get your June cattle hedged up at these levels. We think this is a great opportunity for some pricing. We have strategies that were talked about today in our marketing meeting. If you're a subscriber to Allendale's Research Center, you'll be emailed off our, our research meeting here today. Check out the livestock video. Uh, the actual hedges are discussed in the video here today. Feeders up 40 cents, 132.30. We're very friendly to that market. Uh, you probably want to sit on the sidelines if you're a speculator. If you need to own feeders, protect yourself accordingly uh, as these, these contracts just continue to make new highs. So uh, it'll be done when it's done, uh, and that's about the, the most accurate explanation I can give to this uptrend. They're just continuing to buy them, 
the tightness of supplies and what have you. So if you uh, need to own feeder cattle, make sure you have protection on either owning calls or, or the board. Uh, hogs today up 12 and a half cents, 9260. Uh, and again, I'll go back to the research meeting. We did discuss livestock in detail here today. Uh, there are a lot of exciting opportunities out there in both the cattle and the hog uh, markets. And if you're a producer in either of those industries, you really want to hear what Rich had to say today about uh, about uh, uh, the livestock markets. Um, other than that, uh, report again this week. Thursday morning, 7.30 a.m. Central Time. Feel free to give us a call after 7.30. Uh, we're not going to be able to tell you anything prior to 7.30, and it's going to take us a couple minutes to uh, digest what the USDA is telling us at 7.30. So give us a call after 7.30. Uh, we'll be more than happy to go over with you the results of, uh, of the, the, the numbers that the USDA has provided us with. And with that, uh, that's all I have to offer for you here today on Monday. Uh, thank you for tuning in, and I look forward to talking with you again soon. Take care.